Building a hybrid cloud architecture helps with cost reduction and a smooth migration. However, when it comes to dealing with core networking configuration and encrypted tunnels to have a secure communication between clouds, that's where it becomes complex. By the end of this video, we will build a hybrid cloud architecture using two cloud providers. One is DigitalOcean and another is of your choice. For this video, I'll use the AWS. We will deploy a side-to-side -side VPN architecture, which will help connecting DigitalOcean services with AWS services using encrypted tunnels and automatic routing. This video is part of Scale with Simplicity series and you can find such more videos on DigitalOcean YouTube channel. Let's start with step one, understanding what is side-to-side -side VPN architecture. So as you can see in this architecture, we are trying to create a hybrid cloud architecture where we have some resources on DigitalOcean and some resources on the AWS. Now what we want is to have a secure communication between the resources of AWS and DigitalOcean. To have that, what we did is we created a VPN tunnel which uses the IPsec protocol to ensure our communication is private and secure. So as you can see on the side of DigitalOcean, we have a VPC. Inside that VPC, we have a DigitalOcean managed Kubernetes cluster, which will be uh, sending data to the VPN. VPN is a droplet which we created to send data to the AWS resources. Now on the AWS side, you can see that we have some resources as well. We have a EC2 instance, which is running a basic server, and we are using the AWS gateway to receive the communication or send that data to the DigitalOcean side. So let's start with understanding how we are going to do that. The whole Terraform module is hosted on the DigitalOcean Scale with Simplicity repository. I will share the link in the description. Once you clone this repository, so inside your IDE, you need to open the reference architecture and side-to-side -side VPN AWS, which is we are going to build. And inside the main.tf, we have described all the required modules to create this architecture. And you need to create the variable file to define all the required variables as well, such that name prefix of our EC2 instances and DO region and droplet size and what kind of image we are going to use and which what kind of AWS region we will be using and their CIDR and docs cluster subnet and VPN PSK, which is our private key, which will be shared between both of the cloud providers to authenticate each other. Now, if we go to the main.tf file, if we quickly understand what is going on here, we are trying to create some tags for managing them. And on the DigitalOcean side, we are creating a simple VPC. And if you don't know what VPC is and how that actually works in the DigitalOcean, I have created a separate video. Do make sure to check out that as well. And on the other side, we are having a reserve IP address just to make sure in case our DigitalOcean droplet, which is a VPN, we talked about, uh, restart AWS doesn't need to look for new IP address it it knows uh, the existing IP address so just to make sure we are using the reserved IP address and we are also trying to create the DO VPN droplet so this is the droplet we are trying to create which will act as a VPN in this VPN droplet we have removed VPN public IP which is the VPN address to the AWS and the VPN PSK which is the private uh, key and we are also trying to create the data DigitalOcean Kubernetes version just to fetch the latest version of the DigitalOcean Kubernetes cluster and the cheapest droplet size as well, just to make sure we are able to test this architecture. Then we are creating a DigitalOcean Kubernetes uh, cluster and we are enabling the routing agent just to ensure that whatever pod inside our Kubernetes cluster is, is able to route that data to the VPN and that VPN is able to route that data to AWS. So that's why we need to enable the routing agent. On the AWS side, we are creating our AWS VPC and with a CIDR of our specific range. And then we are creating AWS EC2 instance. For that, we will be having the cheapest AWS AMI Linux, of which we will be installing inside our EC2 instance. We are also trying to create a AWS security group so that DigitalOcean's Kubernetes cluster are able to ping the EC2 instance server as well. So we are just enabling the ping of ICMP ping. Over here, we are creating AWS instance. Over here, we are creating an AWS customer gateway so that AWS have information where the DigitalOcean Kubernetes cluster exists. Otherwise, AWS will not have any info on that. Then we are creating a VPN gateway, which actually create a VPN tunnel between these two cloud providers and start the communication between both of the cloud providers. And uh, at last we are having the AWS VPN connection route, which helps AWS understand where to actually find the pod in the DigitalOcean Kubernetes cluster. So without this, AWS will not know 
where the pod exists. Now, since we have seen how our Terraform modules looks like, now let's apply the Terraform module. Let's start with Terraform init. So Terraform init. Now, since our Terraform modules are initialized, we need to apply the plan command, but instead of plan, I'll directly apply the apply command. Once you apply the Terraform modules, it will take a little bit time to deploy those infra both on DigitalOcean and AWS. Since in my case, I already deployed them. Let's see the output. And in this output, as we can see, we have got the private IP of our EC2 instance, which is running on AWS and a Helm command to run. This Helm command will install the routing configuration in Kubernetes cluster, which will help Kubernetes cluster to understand that this specific IP range is for the AWS resources. So it will route to the VPN gateway. That's why we need to run this command. Uh, so we will just copy and paste this command. Okay, so I was getting a little bit error, but once I run the Helm command separately, it ran pro properly and my routing configuration is properly installed in my Kubernetes cluster. Now I need to do a ping test. Before that, on the DigitalOcean console, we can see that we have already got our Kubernetes cluster up. Inside the droplet, we also got our VPN droplet up as well. So after a few seconds, we can see that our VPN test droplet is also up as well. So our all the resources on both on the AWS and DigitalOcean is now up. Let's do a ping test now. So in this ping test, our, uh, our DigitalOcean Kubernetes cluster will be uh, pinging the EC2 instance through a private VPN tunnel. So what we will do is we will just copy this uh, command and we will paste in our terminal. What it will do is it will run a test pod in our Kubernetes cluster and from that it will try to ping the AWS EC2 instance. And as you can see that I am able to ping the AWS EC2 instance and it is a private IP of my AWS EC2 instance. This was an example of how you can create a hybrid cloud architecture with having a private communication between two cloud providers and encrypted communication. So as you can see, we have successfully deployed the side-to-side -side VPN architecture both on our DO and AWS and our services from DO is able to ping the AWS services as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.